welcome to Lynn's Recipe. Today I'm making chili with a cornbread topping. This is a recipe that I actually saw Nigella Lawson do on Food Network and I have adjusted it to my family's favorite chili recipe and cornbread. Feel free to do the same. I'm just going to show you the recipe that we enjoy and the cornbread that we enjoy on top of it. To make this recipe, you'll need to make your chili first and then once that's done, you'll go back and you'll make your cornbread Top the chili with the cornbread and sprinkle it with cheese and then bake it in the oven. To make the chili, these are the ingredients that you'll need. A pound of ground beef, a chopped onion, these are the spices. You'll need a jalapeno that are, that's been chopped, a chipotle pepper that I've chopped, two cloves of garlic chopped, a teaspoon of cumin, salt and pepper to taste, Three, three eight ounce cans of tomato sauce, a can of chili beans, I like the hot ones, and we like to put in chocolate. And you can either use this kind of chocolate or Hershey's Kisses, and I usually put in two or three squares. It gives it a really good depth of flavor. And then once that's done, you'll need to make your topping, which I use a Jiffy cornbread mix because we like the sweetness of this cornbread mix. And to make this, you just follow directions on the package, which calls for a third of a cup of milk, an egg, and then once you have that and spread on your chili, you'll put cheese on top. Just sprinkle as much as you want. Now I'm going to start making the chili by browning my ground beef in this pan that I've put a little olive oil in. I'm just going to break it up real well. Once this is pretty well broken up, I'm going to add my onions and my garlic and let that all saute together and brown up. So our ground beef, onions, and garlic are ready. The ground beef is all um, browned up. Onions and garlic are sauteed. Now this is the point where you would uh, drain it if you need to and then put it back in your pan and add the rest of the ingredients so here we go we're going to add the rest of our ingredients we're going to add our tomato sauce turn it down just a little bit our three cans of tomato sauce our can of chili beans And then we'll put in a teaspoon of cumin. We'll put in our jalapeno pepper, our chipotle, our chocolate, a little salt, and that's to taste. If you need to season it more with salt and pepper later on, you can do that. And this is just some ground pepper. And now what I'm going to do is stir it all together really well. And then what we'll do is let it simmer on the stove for about an hour before we uh, make the cornbread topping. And I'm going to cover it. And that's looking pretty good. So now what I'll do is I will turn my stove down to simmer and I'll cover it with the top and let it go for an hour. And then we'll be ready to put the cornbread topping on and bake it in the oven. Our chili has been simmering and it's now ready to put the topping on. One thing I need to say is that I forgot to tell you to put in a tablespoon of chili powder and that is a very important ingredient. And I did add it. So here's what our chili looks like. And now I'm going to make the cornbread topping to put on top. So you'll take your box of Jiffy cornbread mix and just follow the directions on the back, which is a box. You put the mix in the bowl, third a cup of milk. This is skim milk, but you can use whatever kind you want, and an egg. 
need to stir all of this together. This couldn't be easier. When this is all mixed together, we're going to spread it on top of our chili. So, you just spread it the best you can. When, as this cooks, it will kind of expand on top of the chili too, like the bread does. And now what we're going to do is sprinkle some shredded cheddar cheese on top of the cornbread. That looks like about enough. And now we're going to put this in a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes uncovered. Our chili with the cornbread topping is out of the oven and this is what it looks like when it's done. And now I want to serve some into the bowl so you can see what it looks like. Get some of the good chili on top. And now what I have here are a bunch of different toppings that you can put on your chili. And I'm sure there's many more. If you prefer something else, feel free to do that. I have scallions, cilantro, more cheddar cheese, guacamole, and sour cream. And I'll just put some of the stuff that I would prefer on it. But you can do whatever, whatever you like. So this is our chili with the cornbread topping, and I hope you enjoy it.